Right now on NBC 10 News at 11 o'clock, the birds are back. Fans are lining up to see their favorite Eagles in action. At long last, the start of football season is in our sights. This Eagles training camp opens up in South Philadelphia. On the rise again this afternoon, the Fed is expected to hike interest rates in an effort to tamp down record high inflation. But there's a cost to that hike that many of us will soon have to pay. And who wants to be a billionaire? Nobody won last night's Mega Millions jackpot drawing. That means more than a billion dollars is now up for grabs when a new set of numbers is picked Friday night. NBC 10 Breaking News. We're going to start with some breaking news right now. The White House says President Biden tested negative for COVID. His doctor says he got the negative results from antigen tests. The president tweeted this picture of his test results with the caption, Back to the Oval. You'll recall President Biden first tested positive for COVID last week, and he's been taking an antiviral pill. He's expected to address the nation in the next half hour. We'll bring it to you right here on NBC10, of course. And also right now at 11 o'clock, you can tell we've gone green here. Eagles training camp is open right now, and it's the first day of practice for the team. Good morning, everyone. I'm NBC10's Keith Jones. Preseason football, believe it or not, just two weeks away. NBC10's Miguel martinez Valle spent the morning at the NovaCare Complex. Yeah, the Eagles are back at the NovaCare Complex for uh, training camp, the first day of practice here. Uh, and there are a lot of expectations, a lot of excitement around the team this season. Let's not let that ball touch the ground today. What did you say? It's here, too, with Nick Sirianni at the helm for the Eagles, and excitement and expectations are high. Last year, the Eagles, they had a lot to prove. A first-year head coach and a first-year starting quarterback. But after a 2-5 start to the 2021 season, well, they turned things around, winning nine games and getting into the playoffs. They've been called one of the most improved teams in the NFL. And now with training camp starting today, people, they're going to be especially watching the new guys closely. Some of the biggest acquisitions this offseason. A.J. Brown, Hassan Reddick, James Bradbury, and Jordan Davis. Of course, other uh, veterans, they say that the key is going to be working as a team and keeping their eyes on the prize. Try not to think too far ahead. Don't get involved with what y'all talk about because everybody on us right now. But, you know, uh, it, it feels good to know that we got some guys in here that can really help us this year. But it's all about how we work together. We have a really good roster. Uh, we've compiled a lot of great players, good talent, and we have great coaches. So I, I feel very confident going into the season. But, um, you know, this league, you, you always got to come together here as a team. Eagles on three, one, two, three. Eagles. And for those curious to get a look at the team ahead of the season, while well, they have that open practice open to the public on August 7th, those tickets are available online. I'm Miguel Martinez Valle, NBC 10 News. All the expectations are great, everything there, but it's day by day. And it's it's what are we going to do today to be ready to, you know, have a good preseason game number one. That is Eagles coach Nick Sirianni, of course, talking about his approach to Eagles training camp. Today is the first day the birds hit the field for practice after returning to camp earlier this week. NBC 10 is your official Eagles station, and the countdown is on to the first preseason game. All summer long, we've been your favorite players. We've been working on features you'll be getting to see when the preseason opens. You can catch the game right here on NBC 10 Friday, August 12th, just 15 days away. Hey, this morning, the Mega Millions jackpot is worth more than a billion dollars. It went up again because no one matched all the winning numbers from last night's drawings. But you'll still want to check those tickets. Two tickets in New Jersey, one a million bucks. Here are the numbers from last night. 7, 29, 60, 63, 66. And the Mega Ball right there is 15. People who were uh, trying to check whether they had the winning numbers were met with this. Look at it. When they went to the Mega Millions website, they got this error message for more than two hours. Let's get back to that billion dollars, right? You have a few days to buy your tickets and dream about what you'd spend that kind of money on. The next drawing is Friday night. I don't know if you can spend that kind of money in a lifetime. After a break break from the, uh, the heat, the humidity, well, they're starting to return again today. We'll warm up into the upper 80s before even warmer weather comes our way. Beautiful shot right there of uh, Boathouse Road, which you can't see, however. First alert meteorologist Mar Marvin Gomez is uh, the clouds that are hanging overhead of most of the area. That's right, and those clouds are going to be slowly getting away from the region before more clouds come back late in the day today, Keith, and we're
We're also going to be talking about the chance for some showers and some storms. Uh, right now, those clouds are definitely perhaps uh, the big thing that we've seen for the most part of this morning across the region. We even had a couple of showers rolling across Delaware. That's where they are right now already off the coast and uh, rolling into the Atlantic. But notice uh, all the large area of clouds here that we have across the Ohio Valley. All that action is going to start making its way towards the east and we're going to get to see some of the action across our area. Here's a quick look at where temperatures are as of right now and yes many locations are inching closer to the 80 degree mark. We're starting to see some bits of sunshine especially across the Lehigh Valley where our current number is at 79 degrees. Now once we head into the next couple of hours you will notice those feels like temperatures grow gradually getting into the low 90s and that is because humidity is on the rise and this is going to be the trend for the next uh, 24 to 36 hours so it is going to feel very sticky especially for tomorrow but humidity will continue to be on the rise during the next uh, couple of hours as I mentioned the rest of our day should stay on the quiet side here's a quick look at what we expect heading into the evening hours notice west of our area south central Pennsylvania that's where we're going to have some of those storms uh, uh, popping up and they're going to be pressing into our region a little bit closer to nine o'clock that's when some of the suburbs across Pennsylvania could see the action before those storms continue to roll towards the east I have that extended outlook on what we can have in the upcoming days in just a couple of moments Keith all right Barbara thanks happening today meanwhile don't be surprised if you see emergency vehicles and first responders all over the city of Philadelphia it's part of a citywide emergency drill take a look from now until three o'clock this afternoon police fire military officials they're gonna fan out to places like the fire academy to be in northeast philadelphia all the way to the navy yard in south philly they'll also be at several hospitals across the city testing and planning search and rescue protocols traffic could also be impacted near the sites remember if you see them this is only a drill let's talk about a controversial new library book policy it's now in place at central bucks school district in a six to three vote the school board voted last night for the new plan the district superintendent says the policy creates a process for reviewing library books if someone objects to the content or images in them. Supporters say it helps keep age-appropriate material on library shelves, but opponents believe it could lead to banning books that feature members of the LGBTQ plus community. The superintendent says a group of educators and professionals will make up the committee. However, those individuals, they have not yet been identified. Also happening today, the Federal Reserve is expected